Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Beaker. How are we doing? What's good? Welcome back to the show. Guys, I I'm kind of freaking losing my mind. I got this game uh, weeks ago. It's called Resident Evil 7. It's one of the freakiest games that I've ever freaking played. And I just can't play it. Like, I keep trying to turn it on and play it. And I can't do it. So, guys, you have to come along with me and, like, force me to play this. Because I, I think it's going to be really fun. But I'm kind of a wuss. <laughs> anyway, I, I got Lulu here for, for emotional support. And hopefully you guys are going to come along as well. You know, I've been a clasher for my whole life. I've played, like, mobile games. Like, super chill. Like, you know, happy-go-lucky games. I don't know if I can handle this. But we're going to find out right now. Let me put my headphones on and get to it. Dude, it's been three years. I know. I know. But what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Wow. Okay, so I'm not going to put the intro in the video, but guys, let me sum it up for you here. So apparently my wife has been gone for three years. Okay? After three years, I would pretty much be moving on, but we're not moving on. We're the <laughs> we're a romantic kind of guy. We want our wife back. So we're going to go to Louisiana, to the middle of the swamp, and find our wife. Let's go. Whatever. <laughs> That's the plot. Anywho, uh, I've never been to Louisiana. I don't know if I want to. Not a real big fan of the heat, or the swamp, or or, or or mud, or any of that, but it'd probably be pretty fun. I would like I would like New Orleans. If any of you guys are from New Orleans, let me know in the comments below. I know some of you must be at least from Louisiana, United States. Okay. Anyway, here we are, man. <sighs> I'm so scared. <laughs> like, I've, I've played this game for like 10 minutes. And that's like as far as I've gotten. <laughs> so, okay, so I don't think we can get in here. Yeah, no, you, you probably need like bolt cutters. I think you get bolt cutters, uh, it, you get them in the demo of this game. Guys, let me let me tell you the full story. I get the demo of this game, so it, it lets you try out the game pretty much. And it's sort of like this. It's like the same house at least. And um, it was freaky. Like it was super freaky. Like I did not do that well. I. I kind of started losing my stuff. Okay, accept her gift. That's terrifying. Yeah, get, get out of here with that stuff. Get out of here with that stuff. Let's just run. Let's just run through the whole game. <laughs> Maybe that'll be less freaky. <gasps> no, dude. The dude just disappeared. Did you guys see that? Okay. So here's what I think. I, I don't, like I said, I don't really know much about this game, but I think that was the dude from the commercial for this game. Now, if you guys watch, you know, trailers for games, if you watch TV at all, you're probably seeing the commercial for this game. And that dude is in it, and he's freaking terrifying. What is this? What What is this, by the way? Oh. Uh, okay, we're, uh... We're just, we're just moving on. We're just moving on here. This place is just grimy, man. It's so grimy here. Ugh. And something's burning. Yay! Wait, can you jump? I don't even know. Can you jump? Uh, no, you can't jump. Can I do anything? Oh, I can put my hands up. Oh, thank you. Thanks for that. Yeah, I can put my hands up. That's gonna, that's gonna help a lot. Okay, so we know she's alive. Let's go. Let's go get her. And guys, this is pretty much where I uh, I wussed out and stopped playing. <laughs> right here. Right about here. And I was like, nope, I'm not going to the house. Nope. So here we go. Let's get brave here. Let's do this. See what I mean, man? Like, it, it's just... Oh, God. It, like, it's so dark and, like, you don't know what's happening. And, and by the way, who closed the door? Can I get out? Stop it! Damn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, we're, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're in this old farmhouse, and uh, we're gonna die here. By the way, guys, if you if you get freaked out easily by like scary movies or scary games, like you don't have to watch this. Obviously, like if you guys are hardcore fans, I love you guys, but you don't have to watch this. Don't don't feel like you have to. But I think if you do give it a try, 
Like, this is just a game, you know, it's not real. And it, it, it may get a little freaky, but in the end, it's just like a movie, you know? It's just gonna be like a movie. So, speaking of, uh, stuff, I have played the demo a little bit for this, and I do know my way around this house a little bit. Okay, right, so I know this room here is where you start in the demo. What's up? This is not in the demo, what? <laughs> what is this, man? You got a picture of a girl, like, holding her stomach or so? Okay. Crawl. Cool. Eh, that's terrifying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. There's the VCR. That's from the demo, too. <laughs> and there's a, the photo of a door. A photo of a door. Because that, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, here's a little tip. It's not a tip. <laughs> it's just something I learned from the demo, once again, that there's a secret, um... Wait, it won't let me do it? Oh yeah, it will. Right here. So there's a secret passageway that I know exists because I found it in the demo. So we're gonna go in there now and explore. What? What did I just do? What? 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 Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so in the beginning hour demo, you go down here, and you die. <laughs> this is like death basement. This is like death, danger, death zone. So, here we go. We're done. We're done. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we're in, we're in death basement danger zone now. Okay. Oh god. God, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go down here, man. I wouldn't even go down here. Like, what? Like, don't go, don't go down here. This is like some moldy, like, terrifying basement. You know, my grandparents have a basement, basement like this. They have this old house from like the 1800s, and it looks like this. It looks like this, man. It's not this big, but it, it looks like this, man. It's just like a small little room with rocks for, for walls. Yeah, just rocks, you know. Ugh. Oh, this sucks. But you know what? I do have to say, this game, it's got a good atmosphere. Like when you're playing, like I feel like, I feel freaked out. Like I'm, like I'm like doing some freaky stuff right now, man. <sighs> something, something's gonna, there's gonna be something. I mean, water, dark water. Just stop it right now. Get out of my face, dude! You... You freaking kidding me? <laughs> I, I didn't jump. What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? Uh, right here. <laughs> That's terrifying, too. It's like some, like, missing posters or something. It kind of looks like, right? It's like photos with, like, writing. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, so we know people are here because there's lights on. And I think that makes it worse. I think that makes it worse. Are these like prison cells? No! Well, kind of. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, does that say I'm sorry, daddy? Just stop it right now! Daddy! I'm not sorry. I okay. I'm sorry, Daddy. I will not be bad anymore. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even do it, Lulu. I can't even do it. Let me let me pet your head for good luck. I can't even do it. You know what's you know what's interesting, guys? Today it's Valentine's Day, and Lulu bit my finger. Like, like, she tried to, like, bite it off. She tried to, like, eat my finger. She thought it, she thought it was, like, a carrot or something. I was giving her some, some food, and she just, like, lashed onto my finger and wouldn't let go. Dude, never happened before. It happens on Valentine's Day. I don't know. I don't know if... I, I don't know if I love you anymore, Lulu. I'll yeah. get back to you tomorrow. Anywho. There's somebody in there. Just stop it right now. Okay, so we can't get in there. But we probably can if we find a key or something. Is it locked? 
yeah, it's like locked or something. So we're probably gonna find something. That is what this game is all about. You like find stuff. Okay, so here's some stuff right here. What is this? Okay, so it's a bunch of lists that say either dead or turned, right? Okay, so it's like zombie stuff. If you guys don't know anything about Resident Evil, uh, this is Resident Evil 7, so there's been a lot before this. And they also have movies, and they're kind of like zombie. Like, it, especially in the movies, it's kind of about zombies. Like, this company made a virus, whatever, and it made people into zombies. And, you know, that... Here we go. Here we go. We get some bolt cutters. So, some people got turned into zombies. It didn't happen all over the world, but it, like, happened. It, it does happen in this game world. So, I think that's what we're dealing with. I think we're dealing with some zombie types. <laughs> okay, can we can we cut these now? Yeah, 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 yeah. We we'll just snap them. Ah! <laughs> it's not that easy to break chain. If you guys ever uh, you guys ever try to cut a chain, it's not that easy. And I, I promise I wasn't doing it in like like a criminal way. I was just like, you know, snapping chain for fun. You know what I mean? Anywho, who's this? This girl's gonna be dead. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? Stop it. You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No. No, I wouldn't. This is my wife. Did I? I think. Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's ah! coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need Daddy's to go Daddy's coming. This is ter- like, I can't handle this much longer, dude, and nothing has even happened yet. Wait, was there anything in here that we missed? You always gotta look around in a game like this, make sure you're not missing any, you know, hidden stuff. Uh, first of all, I would like I would like a gun. Like, can I get a gun, please? Hey, do you have gun? <laughs> why did I- why did I say it like that? I don't- taking me? I don't know. Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three oh, years. she's got the crazy eyes. Has it really been three years? She's got the crazy eyes. She's gone. Just put her down. <laughs> Just put her down. Put her out of her misery. She's done. She's done for. Her hair does look surprisingly good, though. Considering she's been in a... In a... She's been in a death dungeon for three years. What is it? She looks good. What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. Yeah, we do. I think it's this way. Yo, th there is no way that we're just gonna walk out of this house right now. I <sighs> Stop it! Ah. Ugh, it's like chains and like, ugh. Ugh. Mia, we have to talk. That message you said. No, we don't. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I Yo, know. Yo, we don't have to talk right now. What are you talking about? We Get out of here. Oh, dude, I can't do this. I can't even do this. I cannot do this. I, I I had to like really psych myself up to play this. And I'm um Mia. Um, Make sure you know where you're going. Nah. Family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Dude, I keep hearing freaking footsteps. Yeah, I'm too fat for that. I'm too way too fat for that. No, apparently I'm not. Something's gonna get me. Stop it. Ugh. There. It's there. Oh my god. I really wish you were watching my back, yo. I could use some somebody watching my back here. I can't. I can't I do it. This room. I can't do it. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Oh my god. Freaking out, guys. We're gonna be a family now that you're here. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Okay. Uh, I, 
I, I think I might take a break. I think I might take a break, maybe pick it back up here. You know what I mean? Pick it right back up here and uh, chill with Crazy Eyes some more. I feel like I feel like me and Crazy Eyes are not going to be hanging out very long. I feel like she's going to get uh, taken back to the dungeon. And I'm going to have to run. And then I'm going to have to come back and save the day again. But I, I, I just don't know if I can do that right now. I, You know what I mean? I, you know, I got to say, like this really freaked me out, but it was super fun. Like I get why people like uh, freaky games because there's a story there and it puts you on edge through the whole story. Anyway, dudes, it's Valentine's Day. I gotta go, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, have a good Valentine's Day and evening. I love you guys. If you need a Valentine, you always got me and Lulu. Love you, bros. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.